happy friday oil traders um well today it the market is going crazy uh before north american east coast north american open um if you're looking at this so i'm looking at the one hour chart here and uh right here uh, next to my uh, notes table here. This is our Wednesday news event and uh, You can see the volatility that we had the uh, initial drop the climb back up the fade down and our uh, kind of very Dramatic climb up stabilization. Um, so as you guys know We bought before the news um, short we sold after the news um, we waited for uh, the climb up uh, from uh, Europe on Wednesday, on uh, Thursday, excuse me, and uh, we bought short again um, and then managed to sell. And we've been climbing back up again since yesterday. We bought at the almost at the very top at uh, 46.22. Um, and in uh, European trading this morning, we've managed to climb as high as. What is it? Um, 46.72. Um, as you can see, we have dropped dramatically um, to as low as um, 45.89. Uh, it's funny because I was actually preparing to start my recording before this um, surprise tank, and it was a tank. It was dramatic. Um, so if we take a look at the the five minute chart here, you can see how crazy it was um, you know within a matter of what five minutes less than 10 minutes certainly um, we dropped from about 46 um, and a half all the way down to below 45.90 um, and based on nothing this is just you know trader volatility so the bulls are really struggling to keep us above the 46 and in the green um, uh, for today's trading session, but uh, honestly, I have my doubts. Um, I started writing my notes in anticipation of us fighting to uh, breach 47 and what I would do in, in that scenario. Um, so I will tell you that if they, if the bear, uh, excuse me, if the bulls manage to take control back from the bears here, and we do climb back up, I'll be looking to add to my short positions um, above 47. Um, I also have a long position from 47, which I'll be looking to exit, um, you know, in and around the $48 mark, uh, should we get there. Um, as of right now, we're 9 a.m. or just after 9 a.m., so we've got about uh, less than half an hour before uh, East Coast markets open in North America. And I've got to say, it's starting to look like the Bears are going to win today. Um, it's 50-50, so basically, you know, play accordingly. Um, I've got a plan in either case, uh, but, you know, if we should open, you know, in and around this area, kind of the lower 46s, basically it's just wait and see as far as I'm concerned. Um, let this play out ahead of Europe, um, close at 11.30 a.m., and then take action accordingly. Um, if we're if we go up, I'm looking to add to shorts above 47, and if we go down, basically I'm just going to be waiting for my shorts to appreciate and hopefully exit somewhere around 44. Um, we may not get there, but if we're heading in that direction, I'll certainly be considering at least to hold on to one or more shorts um, in in the profit. It sort of depends on how profitable they are um, at closing. Uh, one more thing to keep in mind is we do have quote-unquote news today. Um, we have the uh, Baker Hughes rig count at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, that news, although it's you know it's legitimate news, um, it, it very very rarely has any material effect on the price of crude. Uh, basically, everybody expects the rig count to do whatever it's going to do, and it's already been factored in. So don't expect anything radical to happen as um, when the news does come out. I have seen reactions to those rig counts, um, but you know, if you're planning on trying to play that action, just be very careful and don't take a position that you're not willing to hold if you're wrong. So um, 
as I'm wrapping this uh, post up, you can see that you know the the bulls are fighting for to take back control from the bears, um, and they may win. Uh, it might be kind of one of those slow climbs back, slow climbs back up. Um, it might be the case. Um, in my situation, having purchased short at 46.22, um, the short is looking good. Uh, I like what I see here with the with the bearish um, strength. So it's just kind of wait and see. I'd love to hear what you guys have planned. Um, you can hit me down below on the comments in YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more info on my portfolio and trades and charts. And uh, until then, um, let's see what happens today and we'll check back closer to markets closing at 4 p.m. Eastern. Good luck. Cheers.